I love you. However, I hate you. But I'm identical in every way with Alice 27. Yes, of course. That is exactly why I hate you. Because you are identical. Please tell me what you're feeling. How's it going out there, everyone? WFS, your doctor here today to talk about an article from Screen Rant. And more to the point, everyone's favorite showrunner, Alec Kurtzman. I know, I know. Hold your breath. Just relax. Alec Kurtzman is the topic of this article and this video. And more to the point, what he believes Star Trek is. Star Trek is really a love story, says Alec Kurtzman. Is it? Is it really a love story? Now, when we think about Star Trek, we right away run off to Star Trek Discovery, especially when the name Alec Kurtzman is brought up. He brought us this lovey, feely, touchy, more about relationships, more about being involved with each other than anything more about science fiction, at least the way I felt about it. There was more hugging, kissing, crying in Star Trek Discovery than I think anything else. Star Trek. Is the franchise more of a love story than it is anything else? Well, I'm going to completely disagree with that. I do not believe Star Trek is more of a love story. Yeah, the relationships in every single series, absolutely. Some more relationships in some series more than others, but the bulk of the franchise has should not have been more about love, but about exploration of space, exploring humanity, and growing and learning to improve ourselves. That was the beauty of Star Trek. The Los Angeles Times spoke with Alec Kurtzman to mark the end of Star Trek Discovery and pointed out that Discovery, in particular among Star Trek shows, is a riot of love stories. <laughs> oh my God, riot is not the word. Kurtzman explained that whether in the form of Iron-clad friendships among Starship bridge crew or romantic relationships, Star Trek, everyone's in a love story. Really? There certainly is a history of that in Star Trek. Whether or not the characters were engaged in direct relationships, that was always a sub, there was always a subtext of love between them. I believe that's why we love the bridge crew. Because it's really a love story. Everyone's in, in a love story. And they all care for each other and fight like family members. But ultimately, they're there to help each other and explore the galaxy together. If there's some weird problem and the answers are not immediately apparent, each of them brings a different skill and set and therefore a different perspective. They clash in their debate on how to proceed and then they find some miraculous solution to the problem. Okay, so now let's talk about that for a second. They all cared about each other and they all loved each other. You know, the problem that I have is that the word love and the world we live in today implies more of physical contact relationships like we've seen a lot of in Star Trek Discovery. There's always crying, hugging, kissing. It, it really got ridiculous after a while. But in other series, in other series, Star Trek, Next Generation, D Space Nine. All right, take D Space Nine for an example. Do you honestly think that Dr. Brashear and Cisco loved each other? Maybe Bashir, yeah, but Cisco, I think he tolerated the doctor because of his smugness, his arrogance. I think he tolerated him. I mean, he grew to like him, but I don't think that he liked him enough to say that he loved him. And I'm not talking in a physical relationship style either. But there are characters in every series that you know they tolerated each other. It just didn't come across the way that he's presenting it, Alex is presenting it here. They loved each other. Really? So, Alex, you're going to try and explain to me that Garrick and Odo had a love relationship? Oh, they had a, ha a relationship, all right. It started out with a bit of hatred, but they grew to respect each other. And I think that's the problem that you seem to be having here. You're getting respect and love mixed up. Star Trek's friendships and loyalties and f families are rooted in love. You are my superior officer. 
you are also my friend. I have been and always shall be yours. Kirk and Spock's relationship is one of the few ones in the Star Trek universe that I think is unique. Over the years, they, their friendship grew into a very strong bond. Now, is this love that we're talking about here? Or is it just a very close friendship where they would do anything for each other? There are franchises, series, TV shows, even movies, where people have grown closer to each other, a real solid friendship forms. But I don't think I have ever heard each of these series described the way Alec Kurtzman does. Each of the, the crew members grew to love each other. It wasn't love. It was a mutual respect. I think that's what this was really about, respect for each other, willing to go out of your way to help people that you care about and respect. Love is just a, it's a different word. And I honestly think that he is misinterpreting these characters and who they are. And I really think his presentation in Star Trek Discovery was a clear example of that, where everybody had to be in love with each other. This was just a real misfire as far as I was concerned. Here's where I really have a problem with the article. Star Trek Discovery is the modern gold standard for Star Trek romance, with three main love stories that ended in happy marriages. First of all, the majority of the people who watch Star Trek are not interested in watching it for relationships that end up in marriages and family squabbles or anything like that. We want the science fiction. We want the adventure. That is what we want. If relationships happen to spawn in these stories, so be it. But quit trying to shove romance and relationships and romantic stress into these stories. It is annoying. And if you don't believe me, look at the Rotten Tomatoes score for this show, Star Trek Discovery. The audience score still at 34%. People rejected it. Don't understand how it still remained on for five seasons, but it still was rejected because this was not what people wanted in Star Trek. You know, I really believe Alec Kurtzman cares about Star Trek. It's just his vision and his idea of what Star Trek is, in my opinion, just doesn't go along with what most of the audience thinks is Star Trek, at least when it came to Discovery. Strange New Worlds, he seems to be balanced, starting to balance things out and praying, just praying, that Picard Season 3 taught him a lesson on what his audience wants in Star Trek. Well, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on this. Drop your comments below and let me know. And until the next time, my friends, God bless.